Well, hello, everyone, um, and thank you for taking the time to join our SERP virtual information session today. Um, so today we'll just be going over a brief presentation about the program so you can get a little bit of information um, about the program, and then we'll be spending most of the time answering your questions. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, the presentation portion will be recorded and then the Q&A will not be recorded. Um, so for introductions, I'll let Dr. Ted Brown introduce himself. So good, good morning or good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to the information session. I want to first of all, thank you for your interest in IMS. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, the Institute of Medical Sciences at the University of Toronto is the graduate unit for our clinical departments in the Faculty of Medicine. So as such, it's a very diverse, um, scientifically very diverse um, uh, department, and it's a very large department as well. And I want to congratulate you for um, reaching out and, and for your interest in, in um, exploring research within this, uh, within this, you know, this uh, clinically relevant department. So as Viga mentioned, my name is Ted Brown. I am um, a senior scientist at the Lunenfeld Tannenbaum Research Institute over at Mount Sinai Hospital. Um, my primary academic de department or appointment is in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. I'm a reproductive physiologist. I am a PhD uh, researcher. I'm not a clinician. Um, but I do, I am the uh, head of the Division of Reproductive Sciences within the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, and I also am the director of SERP. Um, that being said, I will readily admit that Sobiga is the expert and um, does much of the heavy lifting for, for this program. Um, but uh, so I'm going to let uh, Sobiga I'll discuss some parts of this uh, program, and then I'll let Sabiga talk more about the, the nuts and bolts of the program. So Sabiga, I'll give it back to you to introduce yourself. Yeah, so hi everyone. My name is Sabiga Vairanathan. I'm the CERT program coordinator, um, as well as the curriculum and education administrator here at IMS. Um, so my main role involves anything to do with uh, curriculum, courses, curriculum development, and more relevant to you, our summer undergraduate research program. Um, so whether you have questions about um, the admissions into our summer undergraduate research program or the logistics of our um, program or seminar series, I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Um, my email can be found on the screen as well as on our website. And yeah, I'll move it back to Dr. Brown. Sure. So could we have the next slide? So a little bit about what uh, the Summer Undergraduate Research Program is and, and, and why we feel um, it's so important for you. What the program is, is a 12-week research-intensive program. We kick it off at the, on June 1st, typically, and for the ensuing 12 weeks, you will be immersed in a research uh, program within your sponsoring or supervisor's supervisory lab. Um, we will hold weekly seminars, uh, which are delivered by our faculty and by graduate students in IMS. And this, the purpose of these seminars are twofold. One is to give you a broad view of the type of research being done in IMS, because many of you may be contemplating research, biomedical research as a career, um, either on its own or integrated into another professional uh, program. And we hope you will, of course, be interested in IMS as uh, for future graduate work if you're so inclined. But the whole purpose of the program is to immerse you in, in research, biomedical research, so that you can kind of see if it's something that really excites you and it's something that you want to, to do going forward. So these weekly seminars are over and above what is uh, would be um, provided in your supervisory labs. Many of our 
our supervisory labs uh, hold their own um, laboratory weekly laboratory meetings. Um, but we do have these weekly seminars that are a requirement for the program. And then um, toward the end of uh, the program in mid mid-August, we will have a research day. And this is, uh, I think this year it's, a, it's about in the 11th week of the program. So here you will have the opportunity to formally present your research to your colleagues, um, both your peers and to faculty members in uh, IMS. And we have uh, faculty and graduate student um, um, evaluators of your research. So there will be prizes given, awards given, and we will have a keynote speaker. And it's just a day that celebrates you and your research. And it's, um, it's really an exciting event and we're quite proud of it. And um, this year it will be held in person, we're hoping, um, and it will be held uh, over at the Hart House. So why should you be interested in, in SERP? Um, well, first of all, as I said, it's to gain that research experience, uh, to see if this is something that you enjoy. Um, it will also enhance your analytical and critical thinking um, abilities. It will provide you with uh, mentorship. Um, you will form uh, friendships with lab members and with and a better um, uh, relationship with a faculty member. Um, so this is network building, and that's so important, particularly for those of you who are interested in graduate education or in professional programs. You often will need a letter of recommendation and. Um, you, Many of you may go to faculty members that teach a course that you've taken, but these individuals don't really have that much of an opportunity to see you in action. They don't, they can't speak to personal characteristics um, such as what motivates you um, and your contributions to a research project. And this is what many of these admission committees are looking for. So those letters can be so important, but you don't really have opportunities to meet these and to meet those individuals that can can provide you with those impactful letters. So, the SERP program, this by participating in these these this program, you will you should be able to get that relationship developed with your supervisor so that you can they can speak to your characteristics. Um, you're going to be exposed to a diverse research topics through these weekly seminars. Um, as well as collaborations within your sponsoring laboratory. Um, and even within the uh, specific laboratory, there are multiple projects ongoing and you will be exposed to those various approaches and questions. But really what we hope you'll get out of this is a clarification of your career plans and that we hope you find it enjoyable. We hope that you, um, are bitten by the research bug, that you see the value, that it's you see the excitement, and that you will want to, to um, incorporate some research or graduate education in your future, re your future career plans. This is a great way to, to test that possibility. So do I have the next slide, Sabiga? So, as I said earlier, um, IMS is a very diverse department. Um, over on the right, you can see the clinical departments that, uh, that are part of uh, IMS. Um, and the faculty members in these clinical departments are mostly found in the hospitals, the University of Toronto affiliated hospitals and in their research institutes. So many of our placements are within University Health Network, but Toronto General, Toronto Western Hospital, as well as other sites within that network. Um, Sunnybrook Hospital uh, up at Sinai Health where I am, Mount Sinai at the LTRI or in the hospital itself. 
Women's College Hospital, St. Mike's Hospital, Hospital for Sick Children, uh, Baycrest Hospital, and there are other sites as well. Um, and again, the clinical department. So you can see, you can, I hope, appreciate the breadth of uh, research questions that our faculty members are involved with. So kind of something for everyone who is, who is interested in biomedical research. Next slide. So these are some images taken from Research Day. Again, this is held in mid, mid to late August. Um, and most of you will be presenting your research in a poster format. Uh, in these images, uh, the top are some posters, uh, pr presentations going on at uh, former um, SERP Research Days. Now, we have modernized. We don't actually have printed posters anymore. We do um, uh, e-posters, so it's on a it's on a very large uh, screen, um, and we're not we're not lined up uh, in a great big hall anymore. But uh, the 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 spirit is the same. You get to present your your poster to your peers and to faculty members, and it's a great opportunity for you to get that practice with preparing and presenting your research in a succinct and impactful manner. And it's an exciting time, and for you too to learn what your what your um, what your friends have been doing as well. So it's a full day that we spend. We start around eight o'clock in the morning, and we have a keynote address. So so we uh, have an IMS faculty member who's internationally renowned, who will talk about their research, and they may also talk a little bit about their journey how they ended up doing what they're doing. Um, because at one, at one point in time, they were sitting in the same seats as you were sitting in or certainly had the same questions that you're, that you're having and facing. Um, we, will pre we will select some presentations from the abstracts that you will submit um, to be presented orally and Unfortunately, we it would be great if we could have everyone present orally, but that's not possible. So um, a few students will be selected to give their presentations orally. Uh, we break for lunch, which provides you an opportunity to interact with your, um, your fellow students, as well as faculty members that attend. And then we go to the poster presentations. Um, so we have multiple stations and um, spend roughly an hour, an hour and a half going through the poster presentations. And then we end with an award ceremony. So it's a very enjoyable event. And um, the feedback we've gotten in previous years has been um, overwhelmingly positive. So next slide. So moving on to the application process. Um, so on our website, um, if you go under ims.utrano.ca slash SERP and then click on one of the um, other pages, you will notice that we do have a PDF document of all the supervisors who are recruiting summer students for SERP 2023. Um, so one of the first steps in the application process is for you to go through that list of supervisors and see which projects you're interested in and which supervisors you're interested in working with. Um, so um, once you've identified who you want to work with, you should email the supervisors um, who you're interested in working with. Um, it's recommended that you write why you're interested in working with them and attach probably your CV or your resume. Um, and then supervisors um, may or may not interview students. Most of them do. And then once the supervisor has interviewed the students, um, they will let you know um, who they choose as um, who they want to be their summer student. So once you've gotten the confirmation um, that you've been selected as their summer student, you will fill out the domestic application form. So the domestic application form is also on our website um, once you've found a supervisor. So you need to fill this out, form out electronically. Please do not, um, please do not, uh, please only type on the form. Please don't handwrite the form. 
Um, so with the domestic application form, it's not only you that needs to fill out the form, it's you and your supervisor. So there are sections. The first section is about um, you as a student, and then there's a section for your supervisor information, and then there's a section on the type of research that you're doing. So this section is really important because um, this determines the eligibility for different types of awards. Um, and then you will choose either external funding, full funding, or joint funding. So external funding is when you have funding uh, from an external organization or like an award, like NZERC is a, a possible option. Um, full funding from supervisor is when your supervisor agrees to provide you the full $5,000 um, for the entire summer. And then there's an option called joint funding. So many of uh, participants select joint funding and joint funding essentially is, um, so I'll just uh, sort of backtrack and say all um, students who participate in our program uh, must uh, will receive a $5,000 stipend for the 12 weeks. It is a full-time program. So students are expected to be working on their research 35 hours a week. Um, so joint funding essentially is that you're, if you receive joint funding, so um, joint funding is not guaranteed. It's limited based on the amount of awards we have. Um, so if you receive joint funding, IMS will provide you $2,500. Um, so the $2,500 comes from the various different awards. So we have Europe Awards, we have the Jasmine Quigley Award, and different IMS uh, awards that are administrated by our funding partners. And then your supervisor would be responsible for the remaining $2,500. So I'll just repeat again that joint funding is not guaranteed. So you can check off joint funding. And then in April 2023, hopefully by mid-April, you will receive the results of whether you've been successful for joint funding. So um, when you submit your domestic application form, the deadline is February 9th, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. Uh, this is a strict deadline because we have so many applications coming in. So when you submit your um, application form, it's also important that you email me your official transcript. So this must be an official transcript. It cannot be a screenshot of your academic history. For U of T students, it can't be like your ACORN, ACORN screenshot. So it has to be your official transcript um, in PDF format would be preferable. Um, if your university uh, does send uh, the transcript, uh, they can also send their transcript directly to my email as well. That will be acceptable. And your resume in Word format, please do not put this in PDF. Make sure it is in Word format. Um, so the deadline, once again, is February 9th, 2023. And then in April 2023, everyone will receive um, the results of the joint funding application if they've selected joint funding and a confirmation of enrollment. So you'll get a letter that confirms your um, enrollment in the program. Um, so all students will receive a $5,000 stipend and it is a full time program. So from June 1st to August 24th, which is 12 weeks, you're expected to be working on your research full time, as well as attending our weekly seminars, which are mandatory as well, as well as participating in our research day, which will be in sort of mid August this year. And so that sort of brings me to the end of our presentation portion. Um, of today. If you want further information, our website has a lot of information at ims.utronoca slash SERP. And if there are questions that you can't find on our website, please feel free to email me.